on Tuesday, the 2nd of August, the same day that we are being encouraged to pucker up and spread the love because it's National Kissing Day. Ooh. Ooh. And joining me, Andrew McLean, today are three hot ladies who will no doubt have a long line of men wanting to have a smooch with them later on today. They are Lisa Maxwell, Zoe Tyler, Linda Bellingham. And joining us for a chat this Tuesday is a lady who'll be keeping you company at lunchtime when us loose women are on our summer holidays. Alongside Chef Gino De Campo, she'll be saying, let's do lunch. It's Melanie Sykes. <laughs> also here is the former EastEnders actress who's had more than her fair share of ups and downs in 2011. Speaking candidly and exclusively to us today, it's a lovely Natalie Cassidy. <laughs> Okay, they are all coming up later, but first, Zoe, it's your last show today. I know. Aww. You've, I you've know. been here for what? Four, four years now. Four what would you, what years. sort of experience do you think you're going to take away from your oh. mad time here on Loose Women? Well, I think first I'll go and cleanse my liver. <laughs> 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 um, but no, it's been, I remember when I first got the show and I said, I phoned my, my best friend, I said, God, it'd be great if I could do six months of this. So I've had a fantastic four years. And I've got to say, you know, for it, I have changed, and it does change you sitting on this panel. It, You're it, not that loose anymore. I'm are not you? loose anymore, but you know, You're from attached. Being, I'm attached. I've been a single mom for eight years, like so many out yeah, there. Excuse me, I remember the first <laughs> night that. Angus yeah. came to stay. Do you remember? Why were you I there? See... No, well, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you no, know, I it, do. I've changed now. I've, she has I, changed. I have. I know how to. Um, I've learnt again how to be in a relationship. No, it was embarrassing because I did have a habit of speaking to everybody, like to like my nine-year-old. You know, before bedtime, it was. Do you need to do a wee wee before bedtime? <laughs> uh, no, I'm all right, thanks. Um, are you sure? Um, well, no, um, because. You don't really want to wake me up in the middle of the night. I'm not good at being woken up. No, I really, I'm fine. Cut to him going mm, in the toilet, Ooh, desperately trying to squeeze something out before bedtime. But no, I don't do that anymore. And we're very happy and lovely Max as well, his son. So I've learned to open up, and I'm really, really, really happy. Aww. And, um, Aww. and he's here. Aww. He's Aww. here. Aww. So. So I'm not, we're not going to get too slushy because I'm not. No. Gonna, I don't want oh, to cry okay. today. So what, what, what are you going to do after today? Because obviously you know. Well, I'm actually yeah. Summer. We're going on holiday tomorrow, um, and then because it's the only time I'm going to get to. I'm coming back. I'm doing a big arena um, show. I'm playing the narrator because I'm doing Joseph. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. awesome. you said you're in love with Angus. What do you mean you're doing Joseph? I'm not doing. <laughs> That's poor Chesney Hawks. Chesney, if you're watching, <laughs> no. Bada boom, bada boom. I am the one and only. No, I can't do him, can I? No. No. But I'm very excited. Brilliant. So lots Good. of singing work. So yeah. So I can't be sad, can I? No. Not today. No. Not a show to do yet. God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> right. It seems that for now, at least, bear this in mind, Zoe, because Angus is in the audience. Be careful what you say. Uh, the summer weather. That's it. Head in hands, boy. Uh, the summer weather has eventually arrived in the UK. Parts of England experiencing tropical temperatures. According to scientists at Boston State Hospital, hot weather gets us more in the mood for some summer loving. The reason being is that the sun's rays trigger vitamin D in our body, which in turn boosts the, the production of the sex hormone testosterone. Who knew? Uh, lingerie retailer Ann Summers would agree with this research. This time last year, they reported a 40% rise in sales of underwear. Shoppers took advantage of the holiday period to boost their sex life. Mm. So is the summer sun, do you think it's going to be putting you in the mood for some summer loving? Well, just between us. Yeah, it's all right. No one's, no one's, no one's watching. <laughs> I like a bit of summer loving. Because I feel the cold. That's my yeah. problem. I don't like taking clothes off, and I can't. St if someone's got cold hands and they touch me, <laughs> everything shrinks, goes like that. Yeah. So when I'm warm, everything sort of opens up and relaxes, and I'm kind of a bit more in 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 the mood in for the it. Because I like the smell of suntan lotion as well. I find that's quite a you nice can thing. Use suntan lotion in winter, you know, if you like the smell. No, because it's when it's cold and you make yourself damp. It's not yeah. nice. Um, but the smell and of sweat's not too hot. Well, no, it? I don't sweat because I don't really feel, don't get hot. I love, I oh. love to be just warm. I don't, and so the idea of just sort of peeling off the layers and having some so suntan lotion, cool sweat. cotton sheets. Yeah. Mm. 
No, see, I, I just oh, need no. a moment now, actually. No, <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it's all a bit too hot for me. And I think the idea's there, but if, to be honest, if the summer... I'm just about to go away in the morning and if the summer holiday's producing more testosterone, I'm off to the Arctic. <laughs> That's all I've got to Don't say. So no, it's too... You know what? It, it makes you feel like you're a little bit in the mood for loving, doesn't it? Because it's warm and nice, but yeah. 